Hey everybody, I'm Bastry Larry Huggins here in Barcelona, Spain. Nice cool day. Rained like crazy yesterday. Wow, I wish uh, California could have had some of it. Well, this is The Good Life. Welcome. We're uh, in our In Him devotions. This is episode number 20 and it's going to be great. We're going to talk about how we are more than conquerors through Christ. Let me bless you. Father, I thank you so much for blessing all of my friends and family on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, uh, wherever they may be, perhaps listening to this broadcast, this podcast. So I thank you for your blessing that's upon your word and upon me and upon everyone listening in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you're not too distracted by the, by the movement and the noise back there. This may be um, a little shorter than normal, but that's all right. I, I have four scriptures to share with you. And this is out of my uh, large curated list of in him scriptures that I'm sharing with everybody. It took me many years to put all these scriptures together. And interestingly, they're not that easy to find. You can find uh, 120 or 30 of them pretty, pretty easy, but uh, the other uh, 150 or so are hard to find. And uh, yet, um, I find them uh, just just uh, two weeks ago, I found a couple of them. That was a real blessing. And I have been over and over and over and over these uh, New Testament writings, especially the writings of Paul. So let's jump into it. First Corinthians fifteen fifty seven. But thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory. Uh, you know what victory means. That's the opposite of uh, defeat through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, and it was a victory that was given to us. We didn't earn it. We, did, we didn't fight the devil. If we had, we would have lost. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil, and he conquered him who had conquered us, and he turns around and gives us the victory. So we wear the, uh, the crown of laurel. It fades, but when we get to heaven, we'll have, a, we'll have another crown that doesn't, uh, doesn't fade. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you about my name. Uh, I didn't like it when I was growing up, Larry. It wasn't even Lawrence. It was just Larry, you know, which is a diminutive of Lawrence. Lawrence sounds somewhat sophisticated. Uh, and Larry just sounded like a nickname. But anyway, uh, that's my birth certificate name, Larry. I go by it. I didn't care for it much. I, I was kind of jealous over my sister's name. Her name was Billy. And my father was William Byron, and they were going to name the firstborn son William Byron Huggins Jr., which would have been a good fit for me. But the old country doctor listened to the heartbeat of the baby while he was still in, in uh, mama's, she was still in mama's womb, and uh, he said, you're going to have a boy. And they said, well, there you have it, William. So they're at the hospital, and surprise, out come, came my sister. And they said, what are you going to call her? And they said, well, uh, can't call her William. Let's call her Billy. And she got my name. Well, I've gotten over it because I found out what Larry means. Larry means crowned with laurel. It means a winner. Back during the Olympic Games, you know, the Greek Games, the winners would be crowned with laurel and paraded around like, like heroes. So anytime anyone calls me Larry, they're calling me a hero or a winner or a champion, and I, I like it, praise God. And I, I married a woman named Loretta, which is the same name. Uh, Loretta, Laura, Laurie, Lauren, those all come from Lawrence, the feminine of Lawrence, which also means crowned with laurel, laurel and a winner. So Pastor Loretta Huggins and I are both winners, but not just because we, we uh, got the right names, but because we're in Christ, thanks be unto God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Excuse me just a second. I wet my whistle here. Uh, now then, 2 Corinthians 2.14, very similar. Thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. There's your 
prepositional in him phrase. This identifies this as an in him scripture. That's why it's in my list. The one above that, 1 Corinthians 15, 57, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through is the preposition. Through our Lord Jesus Christ is the prepositional in him phrase. So back to 2 Corinthians 2, 14. Thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. There's no triumph outside of Christ. Uh, people, people lose all the time. They lose... Uh, they lose their eternal. They lose their chance for eternal life. They they lose their success. They lose their health. They lose because their confidence is not their relationship in Christ. Paul said, "We don't have any confidence in the flesh." Praise God. We don't have any reason to boast in the flesh because the flesh is fragile, and it's um, given to making mistakes. And if, if in and of ourselves, we would we would fail. But he always causes us to triumph. Did it say sometimes causes us to triumph? That we'll win some and lose some? No, God's highest and best is that we always triumph in Christ. Praise the Lord. And he makes manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. In other words, uh, it smells good to be a victor. Praise God, you got the sweet smell of success on you. Colossians 2.15, I'm not sure about the time. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Here's that word triumph again. But uh, I like the amplified version of this. When he had disarmed the rulers and authorities, those supernatural forces of evil operating against us, he made a public example of them, exhibiting them as captives in his triumphal procession having triumphed over them through the cross. Praise God. <laughs> he whipped the devil. And he did it on our behalf. And that's why we're more than conquerors. One last verse. Romans uh, 8.37 In all of these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. More than conquerors. More than conquerors. Uh, George Foreman is fighting a title match. He goes the full length, 15 rounds of getting hammered by another heavyweight. It's close. And he wins uh, by unanimous decision. And uh, he gets a big paycheck, millions of dollars. He's a conqueror. He goes home and Mrs. Foreman and the kids got their hands out and they take the $6 million check away from him. They're more than conquerors. He was a conqueror, but they were more than conquerors. They didn't even get their hands dirty. And uh, they got uh, George's winnings. Well, you and I got Jesus' winnings. He did the dirty work. He fought the devil. And, uh, and we get the benefit. He always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. That's good stuff, isn't it? In him, who we are, what we have, and what we can do through our divine relationship with Christ. We're going to give you more uh, every Monday through Thursday. So be with us. Uh, it's going to be a while before I run out of in him scriptures. And uh, in fact, my wife and I together are writing an in him devotional. We call it every day in Christ. Uh, maybe every day in him. Uh, we're going back and forth on that. But anyway, it's every day in him uh, in one form or another. And this is what we this is what we preach at uh, at the Z Church. Not just not just the in him scriptures, but everything relating to who we are, what we have and what we can do through Christ. Praise God, it's, uh, it's uplifting. It'll build you up. It'll, it'll pump up your faith like you've never had it before. So visit us, zchurch.life, every Saturday, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. Or you can, second to that, you can watch live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. And it's the same time, 10 o'clock a.m. Saturdays, to, uh, to uh, navigate to our live stream uh, Z Church platform, just go to our website, zchurch.life. You're one click away. So this coming Saturday, uh, I've got an amazing, amazing uh, service that I want to I want to share a sermon. Uh, last week was outstanding. People just they just carried on and on about it. And the week before that, and the week before that, we don't have any we don't have any bad services or bad sermons. They're all good, and that's why you need to be there. Uh, to God be the glory. Amen. Sometimes. The most beautiful things 
and be so simple.